A number of recent studies have shown that in children and adults, music abilities are associated with enhanced language skills. But most of that work has focused on the relation between music and sensitivity to speech sounds, or music and reading skills. But we had good reason to believe that rhythm would be related to grammar, in part because of prior studies showing that certain children with a type of language disorder that's characterized by grammatical deficits also show problems processing rhythm in speech and in music. And we know that in people with normal language, when sentences have predictable timing, it facilitates the detection of grammatical anomalies. So we were wondering if some basic rhythm perception skills could explain some of the individual differences in grammatical abilities during normal language development. So we brought six-year-olds with typical language development who had little to no music training into the lab to participate in our study. They did two rhythm discrimination tests, First. one of which is a standardized test of music aptitude, the primary measures of music audiation. The children were asked to judge Second. if two melodies, which are either identical or differ slightly in their rhythm, are the same or different. The second test, the Beat Bass Advantage Assessment, was a computer game that we developed. The children hear a character play rhythms, and then they have to decide if the third rhythm was the same or different as the previous two rhythms. Either his twin brother Sandy or his friend Doggy will also play a rhythm on his drum. Sandy Sane likes to be a copycat and always plays the same rhythm back to Randy. Doggy Different doesn't want to copy Randy, so he always plays a different rhythm back to Randy. In this game, it is your job to figure out if it is Sandy Sane or Doggy Different playing his drum back to Randy Drummer. To test children's grammar skills, we used the Structured Photographic Expressive Language Test. The children were shown a variety of photographs, and the experimenter used specific questions to elicit a particular morphosyntactic response. The boy's kite is stuck in the tree. What does he need to do? He needs to go up and get it. We found a strong correlation between rhythm perception and grammar production. Remember that the tasks were quite different. One measured perception of musical rhythms, and the other measured sentence production. So it was especially striking to note that children who were better at telling musical rhythms apart were also better at the expressive grammar test. The effects were still there when we took into account IQ, music experience, and socioeconomic status. So music rhythm perception still predicted 48% of the variance in grammar once we controlled for those alternative factors. Results coincide with findings from other studies that have shown shared neural resources for processing rhythm and grammar. Here, we found a robust association between performance on two tasks that were strikingly different in their stimuli and instructions. So one of the important clinical applications that emerged from this study is that because rhythm accounts for a large portion of individual differences in grammar, perhaps rhythm should be taken into account when grammar skills are measured in other studies or clinical evaluations as well. In general, though, we're not saying that kids necessarily have to be super accomplished musicians in order to have good language skills. But it's the ability to notice differences in rhythms that seems to translate into correct grammar production. To interpret these results, it's helpful to think about what rhythm does. So in speech, rhythmic variations help the listener to focus attention on important parts of the speech signal in real time and to parse up that signal into smaller chunks that carry meaning. One possible interpretation of our findings is that children who are better at detecting variations in the timing of music are also better at tuning into variations in speech rhythm that mark grammatical events and therefore have an advantage during their acquisition of language. Going forward, it will be important to look at whether music training can improve grammar skills and if so, by what mechanisms. For more information about the study, please check out our article in Developmental Science.